Yeah, so I was out with a group of friends, uh, downtown Austin. Um, we had been at a couple bars, was, you know, in no way to the point of blackout drinking. Ending the night at Estelle's Cocktail Bar off 4th Street. You know, the last kind of memories I have were, you know, hanging out around, you know, the DJ booth upstairs near the dance floor, um, you know, dancing a little bit uh, by the bar upstairs, and then FaceTiming, uh, you know, my cousin letting him know that I was getting into an Uber. Um, and then I woke up the next morning in my bed. To a gut punch discovery, cards and phone were missing, and so was a lot of money. 10 to 12 different charges at three different Walmarts near Katy, Texas, um, that accumulated to about $10,000, um, a series of $3 charges, and then $900 plus cash back withdraws. In addition to that, I saw there was a Zelle payment for $1,000. There was a 7-Eleven charge, um, and there was two separate $1,000 withdrawals from my ATM. An ATM on 5th Street and a 7-Eleven on North Lamar. Since then, Steve has been in communication with Austin police and many others. It's been exhausting. I've spent over 100 hours of my personal time trying to find the right you know, entity that's willing to have my back. When we spoke with Steve, he had just received this letter from Chase, denying his third fraud claim. We're sorry to learn about the incident you describe. We've reviewed your claims totaling $12,877.48 filed on August 7th. We confirm that the claims were denied because your PIN was used with no invalid attempts made when the ATM transactions were completed or after the card was reported lost. How do you think they got your PIN number? Really, that's a, you know, that's a great question. I don't remember anything that happened that night. In February 2022. I saw emails with Venmo charges, someone I don't know, and they equaled up to like $2,300. We spoke with a man who shared an eerily similar story. In October of that year, police announced the arrest of two women for posing as rideshare drivers back in February and robbing victims downtown of thousands of dollars. In the police report for Steve's case, the detective wrote, a common criminal tactic used in the historic downtown Austin area includes picking up intoxicated patrons and pretending to be their Uber or Lyft drivers. The patrons will then either be robbed or driven around Austin with the express intent of getting as much money, compensation, or items from the patron as possible. I feel pretty helpless. Um, I'm hoping this message gets out, you know, to the public, at least uh, let them know that there is activity like this happening. Um, anyone in is really eligible to be uh, a victim of this crime.